Hi guys, Tony Bell McGrath here. I'd like to speak to you about the weapon measurements in our three sets of a spotted dagger work. Um, in set one and set two, we're using a long sword in Piotrusha terms. That means a blade of one cubit for the base of the blade, plus one hand for the double edge section. This is a cold steel um, cutlass machete. You can see it's a bit short for me. I'll be selling it to the next camp. Um, but anyway, that's the length of a punute in the Philippines, in the Visayan region, uh, which is that blade that kind of looks like a big bowie knife. And um, if they, if the Filipinos are working under the Spanish in their constabulary, uh, I believe especially the officers might have a, a saber. You know, that's a 19th century saber would have that kind of blade length, if not even longer. Uh, and the, the motions here, since you have this long blade that is fairly maneuverable, uh, but it's very point centric, you know, they're trying to get that point in, you know, on, on different motions, you know, and with that full extension. Um, set two, you'll see some changes where I think to uh, confuse the opponent, they'll switch over to ice pick grip. And a little introduction to what set three is gonna be like. But you're still using that long sword, you know, with this with this technique, uh, and the ice pick grip has some advantages for grappling. Say someone comes in with a number one cut, uh, you can capture his arm easier without the fine, you know, motor clips that you have with that thumb. So that's an idea of what the first and second set look like. Let's go to the third set. Now, in the third set material, using a short sword. In protection terms, that's a blade uh, no longer than elbow to fingertip. It's a Volpe training sword patterned after Leo's grandfather, uh, Conrado Total. His short sword, which had a narrow base, widened out to the tip and had a scalloped uh, edge. Uh, that was used basically as a stop hit, uh, using the, the bones as, let's say, a cutting board if you thrust. And this is a machete trainer from Volpe's again elbow to fingertip uh, and a lot of that measurement comes from what the Spanish would allow uh, the Filipinos to carry if they were not working for them which was a, a short sword or let's say an agricultural tool it would be judged as being no longer than their elbow to fingertip uh, and this way you know they, they the Spanish would still maintain some advantage with their longer sabers now put these down the dagger in this is um, held in ice pick grip because it's a short dagger. It's not that the dagger is the best grip, uh, the, excuse, pardon me, it's not that the ice pick grip is the best grip in the world. You get the longer blades, it's not. But if you have a short knife, such as a balasong or maybe a short uh, food utensil or something, that the Spanish would not yet carry a bigger knife, or you could pass this off as a normal tool. Um, you know, you, you have more bang for your buck on ice pick grip motions with that. So you can think of the third set as tools that a regular farmer might be a get away with having on him during the Spanish occupation. So you have a, a short sword and then you have this small knife, which is very good in grappling at close quarters. Uh, and that's your third set material. And that's what John Jack will be working on at the 2024 to the church of summer camp in August. Thank you.